So here we are. We have a system that's filled with refrigerant. And uh, there's some guy who says you can't uh, put dye in a system while the system is full because you're going to leak out refrigerant and the EPA, uh, that's, no, that's not legal and stuff like that. I don't know where some of these old whacked out guys get their information from, but uh, this uh, the YouTube professors really need an enema. So here we're gonna go. We're gonna do exactly what that uh, delusional whacked out person who makes uh, YouTube videos and says this is going to leak out refrigerant all over. And here's my tube of refrigerant dye. I screw it in. System is filled with refrigerant. And then you take this. Let's see if I can hold this somehow. I need two hands. Sorry, guys. Uh, how can I do this with two hands? So I'm going to lean this down on my shoulder. And one. that's it. It's full. I only need like two, two milliliters, three milliliters. Actually, this one needs five. It's a big system. Uh, but that's it. I just put in dye in the system. And you unscrew it. And now there is UV dye in the system. It is that simple. This is a filled system with refrigerant, and I just showed you how I did it. Unlike somebody saying that it's going to leak refrigerant all over, you're going to get air in the system, uh, you get whatever, yeah, a bunch of BS. I'm actually going to pull his YouTube channel up and go over his uh, video that he put out on YouTube because some of the stuff he says is pretty hilarious, and uh, he's stuck back in the 60s and 70s mentality and is trying to apply to today's, his old technology and information to today's vehicles. So that's it. That's how simple UV dye is to add when the system's filled with refrigerant.